Hi, I'm Greg Grunberg, actor, epilepsy advocate, father of a young adult with epilepsy. I'd like to take the next couple of minutes to talk to you about wellness. Wellness means having a healthy mind, body, and healthy feelings, resulting in an overall sense of well-being. Making health a priority is essential to a happy and full life. Wellness is important for all of us, but even more so for people with epilepsy. Did you know that one in 26 people will develop epilepsy at some point in their life? A chronic health condition like epilepsy and its treatments can affect your health, well-being, and your daily life. If you live with epilepsy, improving aspects of your wellness may help with brain health and seizure control. Sometimes what you eat, not getting enough sleep, how you manage your stress and other factors can affect your seizures, so it's important to pay attention to your daily habits and lifestyle. And for people who care for someone with epilepsy, focusing on your own wellness can recharge your batteries and allow you to provide more effective support. The Epilepsy Foundation's Wellness Institute focuses on eight parts of wellness, independent living, emotional health, diet and nutrition, stress management, sleep, social relationships, education and employment, and physical activity. For more information about each of these parts, visit epilepsy.com slash wellness. A well-rounded approach to wellness may have the following benefits, lower healthcare costs, a stronger body, healthier brain, less stress, improved emotional health, and a better frame of mind to tackle day-to-day -day activities. Just as wellness affects epilepsy, epilepsy can also affect your wellness. In particular, uncontrolled seizures can make it difficult to achieve wellness in the different parts we mentioned in the wheel, such as getting a job, education, or living on your own. Medications can be an effective way to control seizures, but one-third of people with epilepsy have drug-resistant epilepsy, meaning that their seizures are not well controlled by medications. Research shows that people with drug-resistant epilepsy have more challenges and lower quality of life than people whose seizures are controlled with medications. Don't worry, if seizure medications aren't working, don't give up. Seeing an epileptologist or an epilepsy specialist can help you find the best way to control your epilepsy. We've learned about how epilepsy and wellness affect each other. What's next? One of the first steps in a journey toward wellness is talking about your epilepsy with people who care about you. Don't keep it to yourself. That can be isolating and lonely. Talk about it. Talk about it with your family, schoolmates, colleagues, friends, with whomever you feel comfortable. Let them give you that support and the encouragement that you deserve. Who knows? You may learn that someone else you know also has epilepsy. Another great way to connect with people and find support is to get involved with your local Epilepsy Foundation. There are over 50 Epilepsy Foundation offices nationwide. Visit epilepsy.com local to find the location closest to you. Your local Epilepsy Foundation provides tools, resources, and opportunities to connect with other like-minded people and learn more about your health and wellness. It's also important to learn as much as you can about epilepsy. Knowledge is power. So visit epilepsy.com to learn about all the tools and resources available to you with just the click of a button. It can be hard to know where to begin in your wellness journey, but if you have a positive attitude, you will gain the confidence to make the small changes to improve your wellness and epilepsy. And remember, wellness is a journey. Each day is a new opportunity to improve your wellness. The small choices we make daily can contribute to our overall health, happiness, and well-being. Best of luck.